kindly sit down. Salamat po. Indonesian Ambassador to the Philippines, His Excellency Agus with Juju, Transportation Secretary Artol Tugare, Senator Bongo, Philippine National Railways officials and staff led by General John Magno, Laguna Vice Governor Catherine Agapay, who is celebrating her birthday today. <laughs> Ma'am, uh, hindi ko alam, magdala sana ako ng siupa kung nalaman ko. San Pedro, uh, San Pablo, rather. City Mayor-elect Vicente Amante. Sir, Sariaya, Sariaya Municipal Mayor Marcelo Gaceta. Pagpaumanho niyong eyesight ko is not uh, good anymore. I want to see Art. He can deliver spontaneous uh, speeches. Ito ho yung valedictoria namin sa and uh, was the captain of the debating team of the San Beda College of Law. Ay ako, binabasa ko, pero yung mata ko po, nagdudubli na. Light Rail Transit Authority Administrator Jeremy Rehino, Metro Rail Transit Line 3 General Manager Michael Capati, fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, my countrymen. I am pleased to join you today as we open the Philippine National Railways Lucena San Pablo commuter line. Now that we have only a few days left in the administration, I am truly honored to witness the result of our hard work over the past six years. E kung ito lang sana ang project po para dito sa lugar na to, the, of the region, matatapos namin siguro yung Bicol Express. But uh, yung pera ho ay uh, pinaghati-hati ko right at the start of my administration. Ito silang cabinet members sinabi ko na divide the money equally among the regions. Kaya every region ho may kunti kami. So halos lahat nakatikim ng improvements sa buhay nila. So kung ito lang ho ang makaya namin, pagpasensyahin na po ninyo. But anyway, I have no doubt that the next administration would continue to build and build on this next generation and our sons and daughters by that time would have a perfect mass transport system. Uh, magsigwe lang po ako as uh, an administrator of a city. Hindi ko naman ho pinagyayabang sa inyo. But matter of factly is that I was mayor of Davao City for 23 years. Kaya alam ko po na gaano talaga kahirap magayos ng bayan. Eh, sa Dabao po, wala kaming ganito simply because uh, for reasons of delicadeza, even our airport, pati yung mga infrastructure planned already, uh, nung umpisa, sabi ko, unahin na ninyo yung ibang lugar. And that contributed also to yung ano namin ni eh, yung mayor noon, na she was vice mayor uh, she wanted the airport expanded tas apo sabi ko dai unahin na lang muna natin yung ibang lugar e, ipagbili muna natin yung atin kasi hindi maganda tignan na nauna tayo as a matter of fact we should be the last 
to benefit. So hanggang ngayon po, yung daan namin sa subdivision uh, so turned over to the government ang road ng aming bahay ay dirt road pa rin, simentado na lahat. Uh, yan ang mahirap sa kung ikaw ang nandito. You have to think of so many things before you can really embark on something. Ganun ho ang labanan ng governance. But anyway, uh, no regrets ako. Let me give you the people and the entities responsible for this. I would like to recognize the Department of Transportation headed by Art. Philippine National Railways and the local government units for making this happen. We know that with effective mass transport system, we make places more accessible and easier to manage, thereby strengthening trade between rural and urban areas. In addition, we can boost our tourism sector given the attractions and landmark stations near the terminals of this railway. Indeed, this project is proof of our commitment to enhance mobility and connectivity across the archipelago by improving our routes and bringing convenience to our fellow Filipinos. With this, we make everyone feel the change we have promised at the beginning of our term. For instance, this railroad shortens travel time between San Pablo, Laguna, and Lucena, Quezon from one hour to 30 minutes. This is also a vital step towards restoring the PNR Beagle Express that will connect Metro Manila to the provinces in the southern Luzon and Bicol. In the previous years, we have championed programs that filled in the gaps in the transportation sector. Now I urge DOTR, especially those who will be left behind and those who will take over the mantle of leadership to continue leading the improvement of our railways system. It is my hope that you will never lose sight of this goal as the enhancement of this vital transportation connection will be the key to unlocking even better opportunities for our countrymen. Indeed, our collective accomplishments throughout my terms usher us in a brighter future where we can experience and feel the progress we have built for our shared aspirations. I am thus grateful for the trust and confidence you have given me for the entirety of government work. With the sacrifices and efforts that you have poured into the betterment of our services, we have made our energies forceful enough to press our nation forward to a brighter tomorrow. As my term in office draws to a conclusion, I am thankful that I spend my last days as president witnessing events like this and realizing that even amidst the challenges around us, we will leave a legacy that brought meaningful 
and lasting changes to the lives that we have touched. Maraming salamat po.